buy brothels and it was so s- surrounded by sin. They just fucking, they're just like, we're done. But in the time, people were burying themselves in the church because that was a special privilege. And every tile of the ground is a, is a burial Person's spot. face. Yeah. You're just walking nice. on them like what dreams may come. Okay, yeah. Full on hell mode. All right. Um, we'll take one coming in. Uh, Kudabar says, "Hey, Kudabar, what up? What up? What up? What's your earliest memory, dear? Your friend through sucks. I like that. Uh, what's your earliest memory using the internet? And what's your earliest memory of the internet being a shithole?" Mm. Ooh. I my, my earliest memory of using the internet was a uh, teacher saying, "Don't use this for stupid shit." In like grade four, and then we used it to figure out Genesis cheat codes. Man. And then porn. Hmm. Yeah, I remember uh, specific websites that, like, when I was super young, I would visit. There was uh, ratemypoo.com, where people just took pictures of their, <laughs> their poop. <laughs> and people rated them. That's that's there was, a literal uh, shithole. Yeah, yeah. There was uh, like muffin cartoons. There was like killfrog dot com. There was mm-hmm, like Joe mm-hmm. cartoon. Like so many just like either flash websites of just you know looking for uh, time to kill sort of thing. Home yeah. star runner. Oh, of course, later, of but... course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt's all you on must that. be a good person. You like home star. Runner. Matt's all on the home star for Newgrounds sure. Newgrounds was a big. Oh man, that's a shithole. But like, D- like, no. just, but... just dumped it into my eyes. So there was a lot of garbage. Oh, like, sure, but it's not inherently a bad. So you're thinking of the e bombs world. But that's the thing is, like, yeah. I'm thinking about like pre Newgrounds because I remember when the yeah. first form of Newgrounds was just a single page. But yeah, yeah. way before that, there was still lots of internet adventures. And to me, <laughs> the first internet thing I ever did was go to nuke.com which was yeah. game pro would advertise this as a yeah. video game website it was specifically uh in an internet cafe located inside a virtual world where oh, i played get, the mega games guess where my first internet story takes place too fucking virtual world yes. damn straight i walk around with my card on me ready to go mm. um it's a place where you go to play mecha games inside a real cockpit and they had an internet cafe where you'd connect but you had nowhere to go because who the fuck knew what the internet was? Yeah, there was nothing. But I always remember the ads in GamePro for Nuke.com. And so I went there, and that was the first website I'd ever visited. And it was awful. Like, they had, <laughs> they just had pictures. Even at the time, you were like, this is awful. They had pictures. This thing will never get off the ground, this internet. Well, they, they had pictures of shit I just read in the GamePro. Right, and I was right, like, right. okay, yeah, you know. Yeah, um, GamePro gets here fast. That was, yeah. that was back in the day of delay the website content until after print. Yeah, that but lasted for years. Back when IGN was IGN sixty four before they became just n sixty four dot com, so they were just originally n sixty four dot com, and then the Imagine Games Network bought yeah. them. Snowball, exactly. I, well, that was later too. Was later. I wonder where does Nuke dot com go now? Today, probably. Uh, I have a, I have an inkling. I, you would have to do. You'd have to do Wayback Machine Nuke dot com. I fucking knew it. What's what is a Nuke? A giant bomb. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Uh-huh. Motherfuckers okay. took it. That's good. That's, That's good. hilarious. That's, That's great. Good. That's super good. Wow. Um, but yeah, also for me, virtual world. Yeah. Uh, the internet, you can look up anything. My, my, and my sister says, who took me there, who is of age at the time, because they, I think they had like a little, you can only go on the internet if you're above a certain age. I forget, but. Okay. Yeah, they, that was a lie. I was like, okay, <laughs> I can look up anything. And I'm like. M K three fatalities. Up down this is- scorpion summons a whole bunch of other scorpions and they beat you to death in hell. And I went, oh my god, that's the new fatality. Dude. That's the first thing I ever looked up. The nice. Wayback Machine is showing us the Nuke Gaming Minute wow. from 1996. Nice. This is what I went to. This is yeah, awful. Boy. And this Ooh, was the fucking Ziff Davis. Ziff Davis Publishing Company. Nice. Look at that Netscape now. Yep. Before yeah. everything, ZDNet was already on it. The uh, Space Jam website is still in its current yes, form. Yes, yes. That be. that's legendary too. Well, you know, because it's, it's, it's you know form. it's building up for the sequel. I don't know anything older than Nuke.com. I. I like, have a big be, memory for me, of it's, it, but that's beyond that is B- it's just BBS world, right? Yeah, yeah. In terms of shitholes, like I what whatever a decade ago more, someone was just like, "There's this thing I was looking up. It's it's something like five chan, three ch- five four ch- I don't know what it is. Mm. Yeah, and I was chan. like, and I asked them about what it was, and then they told me, and I was like, "Oh, okay, got it." So that's it. 
Um, <laughs> How old is 4chan? Ah, uh, fucking before. old. I actually have no idea. But I mean, two channel was a thing before yeah, 2chan's that. Two chan's ancient. So like, I, I, yeah, going back to the Japanese channel. Two chan's like, proper uh, prius pre prius pre Internet one point Um, last question from Oborobo. Uh, oh, dear oh, memory oh, cleared oh. friends, listening to the friendcast from the beginning, I heard you. N- I never heard you talk about the real video games, movie DVD extras. For example, <laughs> DreamWorks produced animated Sinbad: Legend of the Seven Seas movie had a game from about choosing paths Ooh. on a boat trying to get to the end of a rock maze. But like on yeah. the DVD or is this on the DVD scene? as nice. an extra feature? I love yeah. that shit. Who has the best extra feature DVD game you've ever played? I've never played one. I've never played one. I remember, I forget what DVD it was, but I knew that there was a hidden game in it where there was like extra selections that were invisible. So you had to go around. Secret menus. Secret, secret menus. menus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. remember one that was kind of a game. I want to say it was an animated movie, but now I, I can't fucking remember the name of it. But I remember going, whoa, cool. And then that's it. That's my experience starts and ends there. You know what? I'm going to sidetrack this question. Adam, have you ever played a, a, a DVD extra game? Yes. Oh, wait, you have. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I, I mean, I'm like, there look were, at you I remember, answer. I remember there were um, like plenty for like Disney or or kind of uh, you know children's focused uh, movies. I remember there were some for The Lion King. The one that I will mention though, which is like debatably a game, um, is uh, for the special edition DVD of Final Destination Three. They had a choose your own adventure option on disc two. Yeah. So okay. it was like a David Cage game. <laughs> wow. Basically, where you're just like choosing with your The remote. scenes would pause. Oh, and yeah. Then... So they filmed some extra footage. Like, Are you serious? I'm not even kidding. That's super Whoa. cool. Yeah. And so um, what was really funny about it, like what I remember the most about it was just how despite them filming some extra footage to, to try and, um, you know, give you more to do. They also cut things in a really weird way where if you chose certain things, it just would not make any sense. So in the actual film, uh, two characters find out, like, okay, death's coming to kill us, blah, blah, blah. And then they go over to meet the one guy who's, like, working out in a gym. He's lifting a bunch of weights, and then you see the cable of the weights. You see, like, the, the sword above... And then slowly but surely, every time he's lifting the weights, I guess he's just so strong that the sword's, you know, almost, uh, you know, it's like a decorative thing. Right. It's slowly, you can see it, like, shake, and then uh, by the end of the scene, it's like, okay, it snaps through the cable, and then as he does it, it just, like, crushes his head. In the Choose Your Own Adventure version, if you just go to, to meet him first... You see none of that foreshadowing, and they literally just show up, and he's like, "Hey, how are you doing?" And the weight <laughs> crushes his head. Like you see, okay. no reason no why setup. it happened. So it's like, okay, this is this is funny. <laughs> I mean, like thinking about those movies yeah. without the god camera that shows you set up. Oh yeah, you need would to probably yeah. like that. Would they actually would probably hilarious yeah. five minute shorts ah. of someone just going about their day, and then something their fucking it would be like. like burp. <laughs> it would be like those foreign like workplace safety videos or Canadian yeah, workplace safety videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of the German forklift one in particular, but the like lady the, on the ladder. The, the Canadian ones yes. are also horrific. Yeah. Hey, you every- spilled my coffee. Oh, that one's real bad. I don't um, like it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that does it. That's good. Mm. Uh, let 